And we got to realize that we don't have the option to hate in the kingdom of God. You must forgive. Not the world. The world got the option. Satan allows the world to say yes and no. Satan allows the world to forgive and unforgive. Satan cool with that. He lets you compromise in his kingdom. If you want to be in the kingdom of darkness, hey, guess what? You can compromise. You can forgive them and you don't have to forgive them. You can be married and, and be straight or you can be married and be gay. You can have sex while you're married or you can have sex when you're not married. We can compromise here so you can, you know, you can tend to your flesh and your feelings. But in the kingdom of God is man and woman. In the kingdom of God is a man must have sex with his wife. In the kingdom of God is a man must not hold unforgiveness for in order for his sins to be forgiven, he must forgive those who, who wronged him. It ain't, it ain't no option in the kingdom. When did we start to think it was an option? When did we start to think that we had choices to choose bef between forgiveness and unforgiveness? Mercy and no mercy. Oh, I'm gonna hold a grudge. I ain't gonna hold it. When when do we have that? Where does what scripture says that? It's time for us to renew our mind. Renew our mind and realize that we are citizens of a kingdom. And the king of kings, when he declares and decrees something, it is so. It is so. So if he says, if a king on high says, Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. That means you should live your life trying to love on others. Woo. Forgive others as I forgive you of your sins on high. That means you should live your life learning that, hey, even though you just hurt my feelings, I'm going to forgive you because it's nothing you did worse than what I did to my father. I was his enemy. I willingly sinned. I willingly disobeyed him. I willingly betrayed him multiple times. And if he had the nerve to forgive me, how much more should I forgive you? Real talk.